Okay, I would like, well, first of all, good evening, everybody. It's Corey. I would like to preface this video by telling you this is now my third attempt at making the video because I have a four-year-old who does everything to avoid bedtime, including yelling at the cat when she walks by his room. So anyway, Wusa, back to where I wanted to be. Um, I'm making a video. This is my second video of the night. The first one was for another candle company, but now I want to make one on a life deliberate soap. Lori is who, who is the CEO of a life deliberate soap is an amazingly talented woman who makes the best soap without SLS uses goat milk as her main ingredients always uses goat milk olive oil avocado oil castor oil coconut oil which is fantastic because at 33 years of age, I found out I'm uber sensitive to SLS, and this has just come out of the woodwork within the last year. So, <clears throat> I really appreciate all of your products, Lori. However, I am addicted to your soaps. <laughs> so, um, without further ado, I'm just going to review a few of the soaps because I have a lot of them, and it'll take a really long time. Um, this is called Fresh Snow, and I bought it around Christmas time. She had uh, amazing soaps around Christmas time all sorts of beautiful soaps fresh snow has vetiver in it and juniper berry and sandalwood and she describes it as the uh, fresh cotton smell it's very clean it has a sweet smell to it I really enjoy this soap a lot um, that's why I haven't used it yet it's now April and I bought this back in December uh, the top of her soap she always is so original, and her chunks, you can see, it's, it's humongous. And she always decorates the tops beautifully. This one has um, candied snowflakes on it and glitter. Okay. The next soap I bought, um, sorry, I'm getting used to this, is Giggle Fit. Um, and this cut is humongous. It is just a humongous cut. And on top, she has this little guy he's smiling and laughing and it's all part of the soap it's usable it, you don't get rid of it um has sparkles on it too giggle fit is made it's said it says it has passion fruit mangoes and herbal teas and i will tell you that i love this soap because i like clean scents more on the masculine side than sweet side and while you do get the hint of passion fruit and mango in the beginning you it's really backed up with the herbal tea scent which I love it's a very clean warming fragrance um, thus why I haven't used it yet just I'm afraid these are certain soaps you just won't cut again Lori please think about it um, Ah, this is my very first soap I ever ordered from Lori. Um, it's called Poison Pumpkin. It's obviously from her um, Halloween or fall line. Uh, it's totally cute. Well, first of all, it has a really creamy scent to it. Um, and you get a cream in the beginning and then a spice in the pumpkin at the end. And it says it has uh, it's pumpkin pie, white spices, and maple syrup. Uh, I really like this. It's, a, it's really sweet. Um, not sweet as in sweet smelling as in sweet as in cute. And it has this little um, glitter spider on the top. Unfortunately, he cannot be used with the soap. He needs to be removed first. But I bought this for my mom. One of these for my mo mom. And uh, she just, she adored it. She had it out. Everybody complimented it on, her, on it when uh, she, they came over to the house. So... Think about making this one again for the Halloween time, please, Lori. Thank you. All right. This next one is bubble gum. Uh, and it smells like the bubble gum that you get out of the 25 cent machine dispenser. It smells really good. It's tri colored, has yellow on the top, pink in the middle, blue on the bottom. It's a decent size cut. And it, it just has some fun swirlies on the top with multicolor um, glitter. She doesn't go overboard on the glitter because I would find it obnoxious and, you know, can't wash certain areas with glitter. But this is not that this is not an issue. It it's not overly done. 
I have to also say that, Lori, I found myself using your bars of soap on my face. And while it's not your face bar, my skin has never looked better and been so well behaved. Um, so I thank you for that. My next soap. Oh, this is Honey, I Wash the Kids Dupe by a, um, it's a dupe of a, of the same name scent from a, a cosmetic company, a bath company. Um, this is totally cute how she decorated it. It has a honeycomb on the top and two decorative balls that are black and yellow like little bees. Uh, very nice cut. Jeez, I'm so like messed up. Um, this smells, it is a, a toffee fragrance, but once again, not an overwhelmingly sweet toffee, but definitely a toffee. And, um, you do get a smell of honey and honey is fantastic because it's such a clean cut scent. You don't, you smell it and that's what you get. You don't get any other notes. So I really like this. It's clean and to the point. Totally cute. And I know that Lori just poured another one of these and decorated it, decorated the top differently. Totally worth it. Ah, I'm using, I got two bars of the Shamrocks and Shenanigans. She sold this around, think, or not Thanksgiving, um, St. Patrick's Day. And I am using the other bar right now. And I love this. This, when I smell it, I actually smell fizzy in my nose. I feel like, I smell like a fizzy scent like a pop and it says that this has juicy kumquats fresh Japanese yuzu and I think it's the kumquat that I, I'm picking up like a fizzy scent because kumquats they give that off that um, almost texture taste when you bite through the skin of, uh, of kumquats this is totally cute the top looks like, it looks like cake frosting. The way she decorates it is just such, she just puts such love and detail into her work. And then you'll see there's a four leaf clover on top with some glitter. And I have noticed that this scent stays on the skin for a really long time. It's a very good smell. Um, I enjoy this very much. Thank you, Lori. And lastly tonight, um... I'm going to fall. Oh, I have three. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's so good that my husband's not home to, to witness this. He knows I have a slight problem with this. <laughs> um, this is Kisses Like Candy. And this is another dupe from the same company of Honey, I Wash the Kids. Now, this is uber sweet. Um, and Lori says that this is a blend of juicy bubblegum cotton candy apples, pears, candy lemon, and Madagascar vanilla, which is a fine, that's a, that's a really nice ingredient to use. It looks like a, like a tie-dyed shirt. It's beautiful. And on the top, it looks like white frosting and the pink up here. Oh, where's my finger? Okay. The pink up here, it looks like an old fashioned candy, uh, wrapped candy, hard candy. This is, this is really girly. So if you like girly things and you like indulging yourself while taking care of yourself but not feeling bad about it, this is the way to go right here. It smells so good. It's delightful. And it lingers. I keep these in a, I keep them in my, um, my bath closet um, that has a whole lot of stuff in it. And I can always pick up this scent. It smells fantastic. So, um, that's what I am going to do tonight. Lori, thank you so much, and thank you for being ever so patient with me every time I jump on a new loaf and request that you put one aside for me and reserve it. And I look forward to doing some more reviews. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Good night.